Hi, Cyber Recaps here. Today I'm going to explain a fantasy, action-adventure Flynn from 2019, titled The Kid Who Would Be King. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The film opens with the wizard Merlin telling the tale of King Arthur. After the death of King Uther Pendragon, without giving an heir, Britain then fell into war, with many wanting to rule over the land. Merlin crafted a magical sword called Excalibur, to see who would be worthy of becoming king. Many tried but no one succeeded. But a young boy, Arthur pulled the sword from the stone, who had no idea he was Uther's long-lost son. Arthur became a great king, and turned his enemies, into allies. But Arthur's half-sister Morgana wanted power to herself, and to cast a dark magic over Britain. Arthur and his knights fought against Morgana, and cast her into the underworld. Where she vowed to return when the world will at its darkest point. In the present day, 12-year-old Alexander Elliot, lives with his mother and attends a private school. On the bus ride to school, he gets a text from his friend Betters, who is getting harassed by bullies Lance, and Kay. Alex stands up to them and orders them to leave Betters alone. Lance tries to intimidate Alex and stop him from trying to be a hero. As he walks away, Alex runs after him and pounces on his back, beating on him in front of the other kids. Mrs. Elliot later finds a bruise on Alex's face from the fight. Alex wants to make right the wrongs of the world, even though it gets him into trouble, as he feels his estranged father would want him to do so. His mom hasn't told him much about his dad but has made him seem like some kind of hero who still cared for Alex. The next day after school, Lance and Kate chase after Alex to finish the fight. Alex runs toward a building site, and is cornered near an edge by the bullies, until he falls backward and is knocked unconscious. Lance and Kay run away in fear. Alex comes to, and finds a sword stuck in a stone. He manages to pull it out and wield it. Deep below in the underworld, Morgana awakens and senses that the sword has been found. She creates vines that will seek out the one that now wields the sword. Alex calls Betters over to check out the sword. After translating what was written on the sword, they realize it is Excalibur. Alex had kept a book given to him by his father on, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, and recognizes the world Tintagel from the book as being an island, where Excalibur was created. On book his father has written to Alex, my once and future king, dad. Alex then decides to take the sword. And night betters. Wizard Merlin senses that the sword has been found, and so he walks out into town looking like a teenager. He makes it to Alex's school to pretend to be a schoolboy, and get closer to Alex. Merlin learns from a teacher that an eclipse is coming within three days time, which causes him to panic. He later bursts into the cafeteria to tell Alex he knows he pulled Excalibur out, and that Morgana will rise again when the eclipse occurs, which just freaks Alex and betters out. That night, Alex hears a voice booming from outside. He finds a skeletal minion of Morgana's, outside the window, coming to attack him in his house, and his mom is nowhere to be found. Excalibur starts to blink, and Alex rushes toward it, but just as the minion tries to strike, it is destroyed by Merlin. However, being in the mortal realm after sundown is dangerous for Merlin, he hand over him a chicken shop pamphlet, and quickly retreats in his owl form. The next day, Alex and Betters find Merlin working at a fried chicken shop, since the ingredients in the nuggets, soda, and ice cream from there contain elements that provide him sustenance like beetle blood, beaver urine, and ground animal bones. He tells the boys about Morgana and how she plans to come back now, that the country has fallen into chaos and disarray. Men's hearts have grown hollow, and eventually the world is at its darkest point. But Alex doesn't want to take on the responsibility of saving everyone, and returns Excalibur. Until Merlin turns into his old self, and shows the boys a vision of what everything will look like if they do not find Morgana in the underworld, and fight her there before she is free, and unleashes her army, the Mort's Mills. Alex is freaked out again but now knows it is his duty to save the day. He tells Betters that they need to go to Tintagel to find his father, since he thinks that like King Arthur, who didn't know his father, Alex is meant to find him and have him help them stop Morgana. The duo then go by the building site again, and come across Lance and Kay. Lance asks Alex for the sword and promise to give back. But Alex puts the sword back in the stone and challenges the bullies to pull it out. They both tries, but they fail. Alex pulls it out again. He convinces the two to kneel so they can be knighted, and although they think it's a dumb idea, they do so. The Mort's Mills then show up to attack. Lance tries to take the sword away from Alex and fight them off himself, but it doesn't work. Alex helps him up, as the four run away and find the streets empty, as everyone who hasn't been knighted will vanish when the Mort's Mills appear. Alex knocks one of them by opening a car's door. They steal a car, 
and K managed to destroy the minions, at last they stumbled on last one. But this brings everyone else back, and Car's owner also appears behind K, and almost causes a traffic accident in the chaos. The four go back to Alex's house, where he manages to convince everyone to join him in a quest to Tintagel to find his father, and find the entrance to the underworld and fight Morgana. However, Morgana has her eye on them, and senses the weaknesses in each of them, Betters is meek, nothing without his friends, Lance is greedy, he plans to take the sword for himself, Kay is clever but callow, beholden to Lance, and Alex clings to myth, trusts and lies. Morgana hoped to use these to her advantages. Alex leaves a note for his mom, who had previously tried to get him to stop talking about Excalibur as if it was real, and now she thinks he has run away. He joins Betters, Lance, Kay, and Merlin as they take a bus to Stonehenge, where they will come closer to finding the entrance to the underworld. Soon Marlin realizes that Lance and Kay don't know about chivalric code, and don't know anything about knights. Marlin stop the bus, and everyone exit. Outside Marlin tell them that chivalric code is set of rules by which all noble knights lives. And obeying the code is what makes them pure of heart. And only a knight of pure heart can defeat Morgana. He then tell them the rules of chivalric code. Number 1, honor those you love. Number 2, refrain from one an offense. Number 3, speak the truth at all times. Number 4, persevere in any enterprise until the end. And then the journey continues. Marlin uses his magical power, to pass through Stonehenge, which are made by himself in ancient times. After passing through, Merlin has the four trained to be better fighters. Using magical power, he creates four tree giants, and uses duplication spell to duplicate sword, while Betters captures it in his phone. Marlin then moves ahead in search of food. As the squad stars their training with trees, to defeat Morgana, not aware of Morgana is watching them from underworld. Morgana control the dark roots, and pull the kids deeper into the earth. She uses her magic to manipulate Lance into taking Excalibur for himself. However, dark roots also captures Lance. The roots grow stronger and pull the kids deeper into the earth, until they call out for Merlin, who returns, and sends the roots back underground. However, being in the mortal realm after sundown is dangerous for Merlin, and after using magical power against Morgana, his condition has gone even worse. And until sunrise Merlin can't join them, he then retreats in his owl form and move away. The others chide Lance for what he did, even though Lance thinks he deserves the sword more, and announces himself as a king. Alex and Lance then fight for Excalibur, resulting in Lance breaking Excalibur. He drops the broken sword into the water, Alex tells Lance off for ruining everything and just being a cynical jerk. Kay apologizes on their behalf, but adds that they are bullies because the world is already rotten. As they are passing through a swampy area, Alex tries to find solution in his book, he realizes the king can summon the fabled Lady of the Lake. Alex then asks Lady of the Lake to return Excalibur. It works and she gives Alex a repaired Excalibur. But this time Lance has realizes that he is just a worthy knight, and Alex is their future king. The group then reunites with no dishonor, no lying, no one on offense, and no giving up. And then the journey continues. After a while, they come across a group with horses, and they starts their journey with them. As it's sunfall, the group vanished. And the Excalibur starts to blink, as the Mort's Mills awakes from the underground behind them. Alex orders them to get into forest, as the trees will slow them down. While chase, Alex tries to knock some of them. Soon they move out of forest, they find a deep valley. Alex tell them to follow him, as they all jump into valley, but they safely land on rock. While all the demons directly fall into valley. The group then finally reached Tintagel Island. The friends together spend their night in open. The following morning, Alex goes off on his own to Tintagel to find his father. He comes across a house off an address he got from his mom. There, he finds his aunt Sophie. Alex asks for his father, believing that his father was a hero like his mom made him out to be, and that he was fighting demons as she described to him. Sophie then tells Alex the truth about his father. His demon was alcoholism, and he left him and his mom because he didn't care about them. Alex's mom tried to visit him with Alex at one point to see if he changed, but he hadn't. The book wasn't even given by his father, it was from his mother. Alex is heartbroken to find out what kind of man his father was, and he returns to Betters feeling hopeless. Betters then uses a metal duplicating trick he learned from Merlin in a way to cheer him up, and convince him that he is not hopeless to face Morgana. Lance, Kay, and Merlin also show up to give Alex a confidence boost. They find a place in Alex's book, 
where they must find the entrance to the underworld. Batters uses metal duplicating spell to duplicate coins, and earn enough coins to purchase some armors and use full things. The heroes ride horses until they come across an area that leads to the underworld. Using Excalibur they find a way to underworld. Down there, they passes through a tunnel, in which dark roots which are controlled by Morgana tries to attack them, and eventually they pull the all kids upward, but Alex find his way out of tunnel. Alex comes face to face with Morgana. Lance, Kay, and Batters are captured by her minions. Morgana then transforms into a monstrous flying creature who tries to kill Alex. Alex realizes that he can't defeat Morgana like this, he act like he surrender in front of her, and then smartly stabs Excalibur in Morgana's chest, seemingly killing her. The place starts to collapse on itself, but the heroes get out before they are trapped. Outside, Lance, Kay, and Batters get on Neil to honor their future king. Alex then throws the sword to the Lady of the Lake, and returns home, thinking he is victorious. At home, Alex doesn't talk to her mom, as he was angry on her. The next morning, Alex awakens to find his house covered in roots. Marlin enters and tell him that Morgana is alive, and the eclipse is happening that night. Alex realizes that although he thought he followed the code needed to defeat Morgana, he wasn't true to his loved ones. Alex goes to his mother, and apologizes for how he acted with her and being angry at her for lying about his father. He then goes to the bathtub to prove to her that Excalibur is real, since Lady of the Lake is in every body of water, the Lady of the Lake then return him the Excalibur. The friend set up and starts to make strategy to defeat Morgana. As it's his eclipse it's not night or day. So this time Marlin can fight beside them, but they aren't enough to fight against Morgana's army. They decide to use school as their castle, and make army of students against Morgana. With help of Marlin they manipulate Headmistress, and convinces her to round up all the students, together to help him fight. They laugh at first, thinking he is just being a nerd, until Merlin proves who he is with his magic, and the students are convinced to join after the Headmistress tells them this will be instead of lessons today. As Alex knight all the students, while Betters, and Marlin duplicates armor and weapons for the students to use. They fix his traps all over the school. The eclipse comes. And so Morgana and her Mort's Mills makes their army in front of school. As Mort's Mills enters the school, they are destroyed by cars, but as in reverse mode the car stumbled in themselves. And Demons enters the school, Batters uses rope to destroy them, and then attacks. As Demons enters in Hall, they are attacked by huge boxes. The students gather and take out the skeleton demons, but even more start coming out to fight. As Demons increases, all students gather upside, and takes their position. Morgana transforms into a monstrous flying creature and make fire through his mouth. Students uses rope and chair, to hang Morgana on one side, Lance and Kay make their rope through Morgana's knack, as she can't fire through mouth. But a small flame hits Merlin, and weakens him. Alex finds him and brings him liquefied nuggets, soda, and ice cream to revive him. It works, and Merlin helps the students fight back. He creates a cyclone leading to Underworld. Alex gets close enough to get on top of Morgana and strike her with the sword, decapitating her. Her monstrous body is pulled into the underworld. As the rest of the demons are vanquished. Everything is back to normal. Later, Merlin says farewell to Alex and his friends, as there will come another time when they are needed again. For now, Alex has new friends and a new sense of purpose to be the good in a dark world. With that, Alex throws Excalibur back toward the Lady of the Lake. Well, that's it for the day. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.